Welcome to this podcast on controlling SAS system options with the Get Option function, presented by Amadeus Software. My name is Inam Ranaika and I work for Amadeus, who are experts in SAS and providers of consultancy support and training for SAS software. Please visit our website www.amadeus.co.uk to find out more information on this podcast series as well as the other services we provide. In the following presentation, we're going to examine the use of the Get Option function to retrieve both the values of SAS system options and graphics options. SAS system options enable us to control different aspects of our SAS system's environment and behaviour. They provide us with the capability to control a wide range of different functions, which include the ability to format and control the orientation of our reports. We can also use them to help us read in external files, switch on usage statistics. We can even use them to help us interact with elements of macro language, for example, in switching on debugging options. In fact, there are even SAS system options which enable us to interact with the operating system. There are actually four different ways in which we can work with SAS system options, the first two of which affect our current SAS sessions, which involve either invoking the interactive window, which can be accessed from our Tools Options menu, or by typing in our options consecutively on an Options statement. If we want to define options which work across sessions, which perhaps provide a default for all different users, we can actually do that by defining our options either within a SAS configuration file or by defining them on the SAS system invocation command. So how can we go about retrieving the values of our SAS system options? Well again, there are a variety of different techniques that we can use here, the first of which involves again using the interactive window. The next technique that we can consider is to use a series of SQL dictionary tables called options and geoptions, which actually have corresponding SAS views which are available within the SAS help library. Proc options represents the most common way of retrieving our SAS system options and again it has a variety of different uses where we can either retrieve specific categories of options by using the groups that you can see in the table below or we can alternatively use the option equals syntax to retrieve the value of a specific option. An alternative approach would be to use the get option function which can be used to retrieve the value of a SAS system option and return it to a data step variable of our choice. Not only can it be used with our SAS system options, it can also retrieve the values of graphics options which have been configured using the geoption statement. As with most other functions, the getOption function can be used with %sysfunc, thus surfacing the function into macro language. If we take a look at the syntax of the get option function, what we'll notice is that the one and only argument is the actual name of the SAS system option to be retrieved within quotes typically. Following that point, we optionally have a number of reporting options which are relevant to graphics options which will return the particular values in a specific unit of measurement. The keyword option will actually return the value in keyword format so that it can be plugged directly back into an option statement. In the following demonstration, we're going to use the get option function to retrieve the values of both valid var name and locale in two corresponding data step variables of the same name. Once we've done that, we're then going to load the results into macro variables by using call simput x. Notice how the locale option is being retrieved by using the second argument of keyword. On submitting this code with our percent %put, we can confirm from the results in the log that we have accurately captured the values of our SAS system options. In our next demonstration, we're going to use percent %sysfunc to surface the use of the get option function into macro language. We're actually going to use it to retrieve the values of line size, page size and device, which is a graphics option, into corresponding macro variables of the same name. On submitting this code with a percent %put, we can confirm that we have retrieved the values of those different options into our different macro variables. Well, from here, we might then decide to change those various different options to different values. This would then enable us to conduct some further processing, and once that particular processing is complete, we then have the freedom to set our options and geoptions back to their original default settings.
To conclude, what we've hopefully seen here is that the getOption function can be used to successfully capture the values of both SAS system options and graphics options and return those values to the data step and macro variables of our choice. This proves to be a particularly useful technique when we're developing standard macros and we wish to capture the current state of our SAS session such that when our processing has completed we can then return the user's SAS session back to its original state. Well, that concludes this presentation. Thank you for taking the time to watch this Amadeus Software podcast. We hope you found it useful. Please make sure to check out the rest of this podcast series via our website. We also welcome any comments or suggestions you may have for future tips. Please feel free to contact us via email at info at by telephone or by visiting our website at www.amadeus.co.uk.